Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Pushpita. I'm going to teach you how to build facial recognition system using Python and Flask. Without wasting any time, let's start the video now. But in this video, I'm going to teach you the facial recognition system using Python and Flask, right? So without wasting your time, let's have a look at the demo first. So well, so this is our demo application that's called the face recognition based attendance system using Python and Flux. So let's give here one username. So I'm going to give here my name that's called Chando and I'm going to give here my ID that's called two just a, for the testing purpose and I'm going to click it to add new users and it will open the webcam uh, in my default webcam that's attached in my uh, PC and you can see it will take in the pictures of mine and it will take in the 10 pictures, right? Just for the training purposes and when I click the take attendance and it will uh, again, open the webcam and you can also see here one interface which is actually taking the attendance. So you can see here Chando and also the two, two is nothing but my ID. So when I press ESC from the keyboard and it will automatically taking the attendance and store inside the database. So in this video, you're going to building these full applications using Python and Flux. And so well, so this is the code for that and I already do that using Python and Flux. So let's discuss about the code and see how can you actually building the API or you can see the web applications using the Flux framework. And we actually import here some ancestor library in order to building these applications. So first you're going to import here the CB2 uh, because you need to create here a webcam. So that's why I import here the CB2, I mean the open CB and also import the OS so that we can save the attendance and also the static file that means the model file in our folder that's called a static, right? And we already create a folder for that. That's called a static. Then you import here the Flux. From Flux, we import here the Flux the request and also the render tablet so that we can render the HTML template in our website. Then we have the date time so that we can show the date and also the time in our attendance that you see earlier. So if I go on here, the capture.png file. So this is nothing but my applications. And you can see here, it has the serial number, the name, the ID and the time. So that's why I input here the time here. And then we have the NumPy as NP because we need to convert the data into the NumPy area so that we can do the calculation part here. Then we import here the from sklearn.neighbors, import the k-neighbors uh, neighbors, neighbors classifier because this is one a classification problem and also the clustering problem like that. So that we can define into some cluster and uh, make one a classification that which face is actually detected. Then we import here the pandas so that we can store the attendance inside our attendance folder, right? And we already create a folder for that that's called the attendance. Then import here the job lib. You can also import here the pkl. Uh, this is another way to actually uh, load the pkl file in your program, right? Then what you can do, you can simply create a flux application using app equal to flux and underscore underscore name. So how can you create an API using the flux? You need to give, you need to initialize here an app. Then you need to also call this app inside your main functions. If underscore underscore name equal to equal to main underscore underscore main app dot run debug should be in your true mode. Right? So when you make the debug should be in true mode, it will uh, give you on debug console so that you can actually debug your code. Now what I can do, we are going to actually follow here two steps. In the first step, you see the capture.png file. Uh, we actually taking the input from the users. Then we have the attendance, right? We have the take attendance button. So for that, we need to create here one HTML file so that we can render the file uh, from our browsers, right? So, so that for that, I need to go on the template folder and you can see here home.html file is already exit here. So this nothing but file is designed by using the bootstrap, right? So don't worry on that. You will get the code link in the video description in a GitHub link. So don't worry, you can grab the code from here. So see, we first you need to actually take the end uh, user name and also the user ID. And when I click the add new user, it will actually store the data inside my folder that's called a static and create a model file for that. I mean a pickle file for that. So if I go on the app.py file and go down and you can see here one route, this is nothing but my initial route how and the application is actually loaded the for the first time. It will run the template for the home.html and also it will show the names, the roles, the times, the L and also the total registration. If I run the code from here, just have a just have a look that to understand the how the route the initial route actually working and when you click the uh, button it's called the take attendance button it will call this start i mean method should be get you can see here if i go open link and you can see uh, this is my face recognition based smart attendance system and you can see here the take attendance and now you can see here no user is exist and total user database is zero because why 
we don't take in attendance yet so that's why it show that uh, total user in the database should be zero and also the attendance uh, it should be the uh, zero so it will actually load take the attendance from the stack attendance function if i go up and you can see here uh, stack the attendance it will go inside the attendance folder and uh, take the attendance based on the date so, but if i go on the attendance folder it don't have any folder yes it have a folder it's already created but the problem is inside the folder inside the folder it don't have any value so that's why it actually gave me the zero it's given the zero but when you run the program it will automatically create a functions i mean once you see the file why if i go up you can see if os dot path is not is did is exist then create one that if it is exist don't don't you need to do that same as it is a static and also a static phase inside that uh, this is nothing but for uh, taking the pictures uh, so that you can train the model so that's why and also the uh, attendance file the csv file is not created so uh, we see that before the folder is empty so that's why it's not actually uh, creating it's not creating the csv file and also the faces now you can see one folder is called the faces but inside the faces folder you don't have any face uh, because we don't take any images for that so that's why so now what i can do we actually extract the uh, attendance from our uh, uh, route file and it'll, i just simply show it out so if i so see it again so you don't have any attendance right now so that's why it's not showing up but how you actually take the attendance from the user so it'll shown to you right so now what i can do so how and we actually clicking the take attendance button when you click this take attendance button one function will calling one function will calling if i go on the home.html and go down you can say take attendance take attendance and you can say this is nothing but one button when you click the type submit right so it will actually calling here one functions and it will actually uh, uh, opening your webcam so if i go on here so it will actually calling for the start right if it did call for the start if i go here and and check that out uh button 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 primary take attendance and if i go up again column yes you can see here href start right it will calling the start one that's been when you click the button it's called the take attendance it will calling the functions i mean the href link called start then it will start the get route from here then your webcam will open so this is obviously one get method because you're going to store in the data for the users so that's why its method should be the get but when you fast the data from the user attendance it should be the post method simple then what you can do is simply call here on function it's called the start then we extract the attendance from the database and after that if the model file is not created then we are going to create one model file this model file is nothing but to actually store the data for the users I mean the high take the attendance for the users it will store in a pickle format so that's why actually import here the job lib you can also import the pickle but job lib is also on a standard format and you can follow this out right then what i can do uh, it will uh, create here on red equal to true and cb equal to video capture object you create a video capture object so if it is true then we can actually open our video capture and actually create extract the faces from here so extract phase is nothing but call the face detection bird we actually simply create here one function for that so if i go up you can see it simply 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 yep you can see it simply detect on face and it will actually return your the face point if there is no point i, I mean no face is detected it simply give you one empty list so that's why just actually, actually create here on functions so that our code is look like more generative so that's why actually I create one function for that then what i can do when a face is detected when the face is detected we can just create here one rectangle and also identify the faces right identify the faces so this is nothing but for the taking that is but but how can we actually taking the input from the users so that's called that's called the add methods so when you go and clicking to add a new user it will take the name and also the user id then what you can do it can it will create here one new username and the new user id and go inside my folder dots called static and inside that it will have a folder that's called the faces and create one folder for that create one folder for that then it will actually generate some images so you can see how you detect the faces after editing the faces after five frame later on it will actually store the images inside the static folder then you can see how and the images are 10 and the end times an image number of images how many images that you're going to take 
So if I go up, you can see here, you give here 10. Let's do 10 images. Uh, it should take in, um, in order to uh, creating here one model file. Uh, if you, you can also give here the 20, 50 up to you, but uh, when you give here more kind of images, it will take more amount of time. So that's why actually taking for the 10 images. And you know, machine learning a uh, model is quite expert on the low amount of data. Then what you can do after that, you can actually add in the new user and that's it, right? That's it, that's it. Okay, and it will return here the render template and the names, the columns and pass it inside our parameter. And it'll show inside our home.html file. If I see, it's called a Jinja template. You can see it shows our names, the roles and the times in a table. You can see this is one nothing more but table and it'll show the attendance, right? So when you click the add button, it will add the user. It is also a get method and post method because it will get uh, taking the input, uh, taking the attendance from the attendance folder if it just exists, it's not actually uh, reopen it because in one day you can give here one attendance. So that's why you actually give the get and the post method. Then what do you have? We have the start method in order to actually uh, taking the attendance. And you can see that's simple. And you can see get the whole users, the how many users are there in order to show that uh, how many users are available inside your databases that you see here, total amount of uh, total users in the database. And also you can see here uh, the start attendance that you actually see it earlier. And also the add attendance. The so attendance function is you're taking uh, the attendance from the attendance file and it will create one database. I mean, create one CSV file for that and save it inside the CSV folder. Simple as it is. And this is for training the model. So this is the most important part that you're going to discuss about that. See, how need actually collect the data from the users, right? We need to also train the model. We need to also train the model. So see how, how actually train the model. We have one dependent and also one independent feature, right? You have one dependent and the independent feature. So that's why you actually divide here into the phases and the levels. So phases is nothing but my X. Let's assume that this is one X. A level is nothing but my Y. Now simple, you can apply here the machine learning algorithm, right? So for that, what you can do, we can simply uh, get in the user list from our user list. Then we can simply read the images from here, read the images from the face folder and resize it for the 50 cross 50 and append it, append it inside the face, uh, resize face dot rebel, simple. Then you can convert the faces in the numpy array and pass it inside my k neighbor classifier. And also one important part here, that's called an and neighbors equal to five. That's mean it will searching for the nearest five neighbor and do the classification, do the classification, then simply you have to feed them and pass it. I mean, you are going to save it inside my inside my static phase folder. Then when you call this identify phase function, it will load the model and try to predict that which phase is detected, whose phase is detected again, again, see. So this is for the total registration, how many registration is completed. Then it has the structure features. I mean, it will detect the phases. It will identify the phases that may face recognitions. This is how the training, the how you can train the model then it will for the stack the attendance so that it can show it in your table, right? Then this function is nothing but for the add attendance so that when you click here, the add attendance, I mean take attendance functions, it will take in the attendance for the users. And this is nothing but for the get the all user ID. I mean, how many users are actually uh, present or how many users are available inside your database. Then you can see this is the initial route uh, when the initial phase is showing up, then it have the start button. When you're clicking the start button, it will try to predict the users. That is a uh, uh, Chandu or Mishu, whatever else. Then it have the add. When you are new users coming up, you can also add the users in your uh, databases. So for that, you're actually using here the CSV file, but next time you're going to be using here the MySQL, right? So don't worry on that. So now it's time to run the code and test it out that it is really working fine here or not. So let's go on here. So well, so now it's time to testing our application. So for that, what I can do, I just simply going to click here to run the file and it will open this file in my local server uh, and it will open in my local browser also. So this is my browser and this is my interface and you can see the face uh, recognition based attendance system. And you can see the attendance is right now empty and enter the new username and also the new user ID. So let's go on the full screen mode right now. Well, so enter new username. So let's say I'm going to give my name, Mishu. Okay. And also give her an ID. So let's give her ID as a one and add new user. And it will open the webcam and it will take the picture for me and also do the training part. 
that you do earlier in using the machine learning algorithms. And you can see it actually taking the pictures of me and also it will store it inside the database. So now you can see a total user database is right now one. So when I click on the take attendance and it will open the webcam again and it will start it taking the pictures and try to take the attendance, right? So you can see here, this is my applications and you can see Mishu one, one is nothing but my ID. And also you can see it detected. So when I press ESC from the keyboard and you can see uh, the attendance is taken and also the time is also happening here. So you can also test it out with the multiple times of users. So yes, you can do it, right? So that's it for today now. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And I'll be back with another tutorial. So till then, take care and bye-bye.